What's up guys? Hey, let's start with an update to the uh, Black Friday debacle. Let's call it that. All right, so if you don't know, if you didn't watch my last video, I bought two uh, Funko, uh, Freddy Funko Yuletide um, mystery boxes. I think there's, there's six pops in each of them. Um, and a uh, big old box came, opened it up. There was only one of the orders in there. But tracking said that they delivered both. So if you did watch, uh, you know that I got my value and then some. There was some good pops in there. I was surprised. It was the Galactic box. Um, there wasn't anything very galactic about it. Um, there was a Hannibal Freddy, um, Spike Lee, and a few other pops, but nothing really galactic. Whatever. I was happy with the box. And the other box is like... Uh, Family Classics or something like that. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. Drop down below and let me know if you know what it is. But um, you think I would know. But that was the one I just quickly ordered and didn't realize there was a drop down at that time. Whatever. It is what it is. Anyways, I reached out to Funko. It took about three days and Jeff from Funko reached out, said, hey, sorry about the problem. Um, submitted the order. Surprise, they still had a whole bunch in stock and uh, sent that order out to me free, right? Well, I already paid for it, so whatever. But anyways, that's the update for the uh, Black Friday mystery box from Funko. Hopefully, um, I get something good. I was surprised with the last one, two Freddies, not bad. Um, I'm not expecting miracles. Anyways, I have a whole bunch of pops here for you today. I got, yeah, I gotta clear out the mail room for sure. I got one, two, three, four boxes from Jay Navo off of Whatnot. And I do have this pickup that just came in from Toy Tokyo. Let's get into it. If you're new here, my name's James and this is DC Animal Pops. <laughs> All right guys, so let's just get to it because there's a lot of pops to go through. I think that's eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 or so pops to show you. Um, some of those ones from Jay Nava were from mystery boxes that he does. He does a quick mystery box um, as you're sitting there watching during the stream. And um, I won the grail. There was one grail ticket out of 40, 30 or 40, and I pulled it. And um, then you have your choice. Um, there was another pop in that one that I really wanted, but the one I went with, you rarely see, so we'll get to that in a second. This one on Toy Tokyo, I may have paid, overpaid a little bit. No surprise from whatnot for overpaying, but I know this is, uh, this is, this is not what I was expecting, but this is cool. All right, so, man, messed me all up when I looked down. This is not a pop. But it is a Funko product. It's a Hikari. It's C-3PO. And I think they said, what is he, mud or something like that? What, what is it? It's a Toy Tokyo exclusive mini uh, uh, Hikari. Uh, one in 500 pieces. Yo, most people probably are like, eh, okay, great. Got a Hikari. But I am super happy to have him. Cool box. Cool look. What did they call him? Like dirt, mud? I don't freaking know. Very cool, cool box. Look at him, look at him right there. I love me some Star Wars if you didn't already know. And C-3PO is just now being added to the collection. Awesome, all right, so we got through that. Let's take a look at um, the next thing. All the rest of these boxes are for Jay Navo. If you don't know who Jay Navo is, head over to uh, Whatnot, check out one of his streams. He does a lot of mystery boxes. Does a lot of dollar starts, so you could get some pretty good uh, um, steals and deals over there. Anyways, um, okay. I love me some horror. Not necessarily a big Chucky fan, but this one's pretty cool. I have a few. I have Chucky on cart, Chucky from uh, Child's Play 3, and then I have Tiffany, his wife, that's the chase. And this is my phone ringing. Go for James. Oh, threw you off, huh? Okay, so I got uh, Chucky. I can't remember if I pulled this from a mystery box 
or if I just saw it and it was a good price, that's what I think it was. And uh, I'm very happy to have it. You know, I love my horror. So Star Wars, horror, and Freddy's are a thing. So uh, if that's a little different, I had a visitor and had to stop filming and it's like two hours later and here I am. I know there's a grail in one of these boxes. I'm just not sure which one, um, but there's some good pops in here. Um, it, it's a mystery box, right? Um, so you kind of get what you get. But some of these, I feel like maybe it wasn't mystery box day and he just threw up things for dollar starts and I picked them. But I'll be able to tell you once I see. I guess we'll find out. Um, this, these were mystery box hits. All right. Um, definitely the way he works it is with Uno cards. Blue being the lowest and then getting the wild is where you get the grail. I don't think either of these were grails. These were just picks. Um, this one here, I kind of went with the most um, valuable that was left. Nothing that I've, I've never even played Destiny, but this is Atheon. It's a um, GameStop exclusive Destiny video game, but um, this was like a $50, $55 pop value-wise. Um, but yeah, this will probably go up for sale on my whatnot. But um, I mean, it's cool looking. I guess it's an alien from Destiny. Anyways, and then this other one I picked because I just thought it was cool. A couple reasons I picked. Um, it's Amazing Carlos. It's a Funko um, Shop, ex well, it's not even a Funko Shop exclusive. This was a 3,000 piece from San Diego Comic Con, but this is the spastic plastic. Um, it's one of their own creations, right? And this is just fun and cool looking. I really dig it. Kind of reminds me of Rat Pink. It's just kind of like a, it's got like a gas can or an oil can right there. Um, I don't know what he is, but it's cool. It's from 2016 San Diego Comic Con. It's got the con sticker right there. Um, I dig it. So I got to choose that. And I was not sad about getting that. I'll tell you that right now. Very cool. I was excited to see that. There he is. And let's get into these. <clears throat> I'm not sure what this is, but so I know a couple times when he did mystery boxes, I bought like four of them. And we'll see what we get. This is what you get out of these mystery boxes. Not always the winner, but not always the loser either. One of them. I got a grail out of it, so I keep saying that, so let's take a look, shall we? It is getting late, I am tired, but that's okay. So, four pops in here. Okay, hey, that's cool. Let's reach in and I'm not sure what who this is. It's Joyce from Stranger Things, the mom, right? Um, I didn't overly want it or anything like that, but it was available and I know uh, Stranger Things is very popular. I have sold a few Stranger Things um, just because I didn't necessarily collect it. Maybe I will start collecting. There's a whole line of them on the background, back there. Um, but yeah, it's a big line. Stranger Things, very popular. All right, I got this one. I know my ex-wife is a big Game of Thrones um, person and she collects. Well, I pretty much gave her a whole bunch of uh, Game of Thrones pops. This is the mountain with his armor on. It's a uh, summer convention exclusive from 2017. Very cool. Uh, Mountain was a cool character. He didn't fare too well at the end, but nobody really did, right? Very cool. I thought it was a cool one, but um, the Game of Thrones pops aren't very valuable. And, you know, I think the way it ended just soured a lot of people to Game of Thrones, but I think they're pretty cool. Who's your favorite? Uh, I'd have to say Arya. Arya? Arya Stark? Is that how you say it? Frick, I don't know. I'm horrible. Anyways, um, there was Pennywise. I love the horror. I do have a collection of Pennywise. Um, this one's cool. This is the one with the wrought iron through his face. Remember when they, they nailed him with it? And he's pretty uh, resilient, so it didn't really face him much. But yeah, that's Pennywise. It. Love it. That one will be nice and creepy for the 
for the room overlooking my bed he could just hang out he is creepy looking fye exclusive pennywise with wrought iron and then this one this was the the uh, most valuable i've never seen this movie uh, this is black philip from the witch nice and creepy that's super creepy actually um i don't know how creepy he is in the movie but it looks pretty creepy to me right so glad to have him nice horror pop right there damn he is creepy as hell so two creepy ones and we'll see from there all right let's get into this other big one i'm not sure what this is let's see it is again from uh jay Navo. another i believe four pops but uh these are straight up mystery boxes Head on over to see Jay Novel on uh, whatnot and support. Get in there, win you something. Oh man, these are cool. This is not. Oh, these were just I had to haves. All right, this is not from a mystery box. This is when he does because he does mystery box like once a week, and then he does dollar starts and and other shows like that. And um, these are a little older. These were awesome. I had to have these. Okay, if you don't know, I've already said I'm a horror fan, but I was always, I always have been a Walking Dead fan. And this is Daryl Dixon on his, well, chopper motorcycle. Had to have this. It's a good size pop, but very cool. Very, very cool. Walking Dead is over. Did you guys watch it? Did you like the uh, finale? And I think <laughs> this might have been on almost the exact same time or the next day, this show where I got this, right after the finale. So, had to have it. Glad to have it. I'll probably take them out of this box and put them up because, you know, these bigger pops, they, they're meant to be out like that anyways. It's not super big, but super happy to have that. I forgot about these, man. That's awesome. And then, <laughs> there's another big pop. Had to have this one. It's Star Wars. It's Luke Skywalker in his X Wing. Freaking love this one. Very cool. This one's definitely got to come out. He's got to be sitting out as like a piece just to. Can you even see it? Me peeking around the corner. But uh, yeah. That's freaking cool. Star Wars. Gotta love that. That's a big one right there. That one's gonna go up. Basically, when I got the wild, there was two or three grails, so so to speak, grails available, and there was a Qui-Gon Jinn that I wanted, but um, I went the other way with it. This one, you never see this pop out, so I had to jump on it. Um, this was, I got the big win. It's Slave Leia. Yeah! I thought it was $50 pop so for $35 not bad not bad at all I'll take it but uh yeah super stoked to have it um like I said there's a Qui-Gon Jinn I'm still trying to get but Slave Leia popped up and I you know it was one or the other so I went with this anyways let me know what you think of all the pops that I pulled um head on over see Jay Navo uh, on whatnot, see if you can't grab a mystery box or any of the cool pops that he throws up for a dollar starts. Um, you won't be disappointed. All right, that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, be good, be well, and thanks for watching.